Hi, you're watching Enemy. I'm Mel Hunt and I'm here with Nick from Pond. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, good. So I hear that you're based over in the UK now. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, you spend a lot of time away as well. But... How was your first chilly Christmas? So Christmassy. Yeah. All the, all the like, stereotypes that uh, I've grown up with were real. Suddenly, because you still, you know, even though it's like boiling outside in Australia, all the imagery, all the Christmas imagery you get is still, you know, yeah. Northern Hemisphere imagery, <laughs> like snow and uh, Father Christmas and all that. You've got a record coming out, Tasmania. Um, you said that it's kind of a sister album to The Weather. Uh, like, kind of what sort of sibling relationship is there between the two? Um, I suppose it, I mean, it was recorded in the same studio with uh, the same person, Kev, mm -hmm. um, at a similar time of year. And uh, I guess it sort of feels like, I don't know, it feels like we maybe, it's kind of like we haven't finished the weather or something. I mean, it's a development. It's a development on it, but um, yeah, like thematically and uh, and musically, it's like where we sort of exploring where we were going with the weather a bit, a bit further or something like that. And um, and to talk a bit more about some of the ideas on Tasmania, mm. um, several times this same refrain comes up where you're saying that you're going to go shack up in Tasmania before the ozone burns out. Yeah. Um, uh, I was just wondering if you could tell me a bit more about kind of that line and why Tasmania as well. Quite a while ago now, when I was in Tasmania, I, I got a bit pissed with this bloke who did um, was, did like was involved in uh, CSIRO, like environmental science, and um, he showed me this um, this sort of temperature project like. Pro projection over the next hundred years of Australia and um, it basically all just goes gradually more and more red and purple into sort of unlivable territory and the last um, in kind of <laughs> inhabitable space is Tasmania. Okay. And yeah, like as, like in Australia now it's um you know, it's been it's been the hottest. Like uh, there have been fires and uh, Adelaide had its hottest day ever. Um, it's like 40, 47 degrees. And suddenly, like, torrential rains and flooding. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, it's actually real and it starts getting quite scary and you start looking for these spaces that you need to, um, to escape. And it's not just the kind of... Uh, it's not just a like a fantasy of a u utopia. It's like an actual, like, shit, where is the, where is the actual place we're gonna go, you know? Yeah. And what are the housing prices like? And, you know, it starts turning into a real thing. It's a bit terrifying. But yeah, would you say that as well, this record is kind of about the sort of pre-apocalyptic last hurrah, like the final party? Yeah, kind of. Um, I guess it's just all the different, all, all the sort of uh, balancing of your thoughts, resigning yourself to, to the end and, um, and making your own time as uh, pleasant as you, as you can and, you know, enjoying yourself and, and also like a sense of responsibility. Yeah, it's kind of a hard thing to, hard thing to balance, quite a complicated, complicated thing in your, your brain. And, and you mentioned earlier that you recorded Tasmania, same place as you recorded the weather, mm. um, Kevin's studio in Perth. Yeah. I've seen pictures of that studio and it looks like utopian <laughs> heaven, just yeah. kind of mixing desks and stuff, facing yeah. out into all this green. Yeah. That must have been a nice place to get away and work on the record. Totally. I mean, it's like, it's home. It's right in Fremantle, mm -hmm. which is where we, we're all sort of, we've all been based most of the time. And it's, it was his, you know, it's, it was his house before 
he turned it into the studio. We like hung out there heaps. It's real close to the beach. It's close to the local. It's close to all our friends. Yeah. You can sort of pop down in the morning and uh, go back home, <laughs> go back home at night and go to the beach in between. Joe can go across the road and get a pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so pretty relaxed. Yeah, yeah, fully. And like, it, it, yeah, it's just real comfortable. Um, because it's Kev's place, mm -hmm. you know, a good friend. Yeah, you go back a long way with him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, do you think the fact that he has kind, he's, he's been in Pond at one point and he's co-produced for you before, do you think that having that foundation where he really understands how your band works is really helpful for that producer-band relationship? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we're so, I, I don't know, I guess we haven't really done anything with, like, you know, we haven't had the sort of flying over to America and rocking up at Steve Albini's place and just yeah. seeing how it goes. You know, we haven't ever had that sort of experience before. It's either doing it at home by ourselves or doing it with Kevin or with another friend. Like, the only time we haven't done that sort of thing is when we've gone to... We got our f a good friend of ours um, to lend us their, their like holiday home down southwest Australia and we just set up our shit there. Yeah. So we've always kept it pretty like comfort and um, like per personal connection stuff's always been super important instead of like gear or um, like reputation. Well, Kev's got a pretty good <laughs> reputation, so. But uh, we got there first. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it also seems to me that um, you, you said that the process of recording the album was very relaxed. Um, it also seems to me, having seen Pond live over the years and stuff, that fun is really important to you. Um, I saw you play Field Day like years ago um, and you were just leaping around <laughs> with like a, I think it was like a flute or a, a pipe of some Definitely description. a flute, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fun's super important. Don't want to cut out this really, really important part of the human experience. I don't know, I think a lot of the time art gets, uh, it really, it, it's, it kind of suffers from this idea that something that's light-hearted or humorous is like um, lacks artistic legitimacy <laughs> or something. Yeah. Like um, it has to be dark and, mis and, and, and miserable or really heavy to have any kind of, um, to have any kind of importance. It's all a part of the way everyone thinks and feels and experiences the world. It'll be, a, I reckon it'll be a great pity to like, deny that and uh the album comes out in march first of march i believe yeah, yeah. um what are your plans for the rest of 2019 we're gonna do some touring yeah yes uh i think we're gonna try record again i got some some of my own you know audio junk i'm gonna like uh, <laughs> i'm gonna unload yeah. um yeah you know enjoy myself yeah stay relaxed stay healthy and search for a decent beach in the UK. Yeah, oh, I've, I've found it. I just gotta wait till the weather uh, permits. Which one? Hastings, love Hastings. Oh yeah, it's nice. This place is great. Really nice. It was boiling when I went there in summer. It was awesome. Well, oh, thank you very much. Not at all, um, pleasure. Yeah, hope, uh, hope you get down to Hastings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>